Okay, welcome to the podcast. Uh, my name is Shane, and we have Los. Yeah, I'm Luis. I'm Jake. I'm Chad. All right, Sweet. and we are the. We'll put that in post later. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <dot, dot, dot. laughs> All right, I'm like, so, yeah. So we're going to talk uh, about probably a couple of random things, but we do have one topic <clears throat> underway. And uh, it's this movie called Yakuza Apocalypse by uh, the director. What's his name? What's, what's that guy's name? Who directed it, guys? Uh, Takashi Miki. Takashi Miki. Oh, yeah. That guy. Takashi Miki. And also he also probably... did uh, Ichi the Killer and Audition. Oh, both, movies. Both very good as well. Let's... Name dropping. 13 Assassins. That was a good one. We did that one. I love that movie. That's a great uh, one. I, yeah. I, I yet to see that. That's kind of more of a mainstream one, though, right? Uh, is it? Yeah. Uh, it's it's definitely not Yakuza Apocalypse. Uh, yeah. Well, it's it's watchable. <laughs> well, we'll get to that in a second. Go, go, go ahead, Shane. You know what? You know what, though? Somebody told me that they went to go see The Martian instead, and I was really disappointed. Really? What? I think that person that's weird, that's had weird, the right that's idea. That's a weird feeling to have. Bro, science the shit out of it. <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> I have yet to see that movie. Uh, I'm, tr- I'm trying to finish that book first. Yeah, uh, me too, man. Oh, I've been fucking the book slacking. better. I've you sounded really slacking. obnoxious just now. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, as you already know, um, we found water on Mars already. So, like, whatever you read on the book in the movie doesn't matter. She's oh, wet, man. Yep. She's well, that's old news. I don't think they actually found water. Uh, they found they found liquid. It's what? Fu- it's flowing water. They, they, they found they found evidence of flowing liquid. Uh, but I wouldn't drink it. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't. I. I mean, it's got plenty of uh, iron oxide in it. Well, Luis, Luis, Luis. It sounds like Luis. nothing that like a pure filter wouldn't like take care of. You know. But it's really Luis. the oh, fact yeah, that yeah. water yeah. could exist in a liquid form on that atmospheric pressure is. Pretty much, what's more miraculous about anything? And on, yeah. and on top of that, aren't they aren't they Real talking tight. about aren't they talking about how it's the like the reason why they kind of figured it out is because the the ice caps were like shrinking or like receding and shit as well. During no, during like receding. seasonal transitions yeah, no, yeah. Um, on like pretty high slopes and whatnot, you can pretty uh, much see what looks like streaks going down the sides of these really yeah. high hills. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's why they say that it it looks like flowing water and it. It it almost looks seasonal, so they mm. you know it's not just like a one time thing. In the article I read, they equated it to like it being in the areas where it collects. It's like moist dirt. It's really what it amounts to. It's not like a moist. body of water, but I mean it's still something. <laughs> you can squeeze that out of there. I've seen Bear Grylls yeah. squeeze water out of poo. You could probably do that shit with that that Mars dirt. All right, let's talk about what's really important. There is an alien superstructure out there. Yo. Okay. The oh no, the bro, oh, yeah. don't, water, don't water on Mars, and alien that superstructure. Dyson sphere and a star, like not that far from us. Yo, big up to Dyson's. Not only are they very good at making vacuums, Yo, they're doing space structures. That yeah. sphere that they had on their vacuum is revolutionary. What? <laughs> so the spheres they put no. on the on the vacuums make it so you can just fly around those corners, man. They're great. I love exactly. You, you see, it's they're ready. <laughs> really are about this whole superstructure in space they're just uh trying to show us the power of vacuuming all right so uh, not to get off on a tangent maybe we can get back to the topic at hand (laughs) so this movie yakuza apocalypse all right so okay so why did we watch this because we were in uh, San right. Fran. I was visiting, like, Carlos and Luis. Because Sorry. it's Takashi Miki, and we are obligated no, to no, watch no, no. all of his movies. That, that's not why we watched it. <laughs> okay. We were we just finished eating some... Delicious burritos. Uh, some burritos, some big-ass burritos. Yum. Super burritos. And we're like, oh, what are we going to do? And so I was like, okay, let me check out uh, movies at the Roxy, which was nearby, cool little uh, theater. Mm-hmm. Um, 
And the first thing that popped up is like, oh, Yakuza Apocalypse. I mean, just that name alone should sell you on anything. Sounds very nice. Um, but uh, it was very, very, uh, very, very wrong. Very strong very, name. Very, very strong. strong. I mean, it, it's like Yakuza Apocalypse. I mean, those are two I mean, huge words. Yakuza. So the clickbait worked. Those are great. It sounded Apocalypse. like the movie itself wasn't that, that appetizing. Awesome. No, the movie. It, 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 I mean, I've yet to watch it, Chad. <laughs> yeah, neither have I. That's oh, fine. You guys didn't watch no, no, it. I, wa- right. I watched it. Okay. I mean, I've yet to watch it though, unfortunately. Yeah, that's no, uh, no. That's okay. probably the right choice. <laughs> well, <clears throat> the movie takes place, I guess, modern day, and uh, it it gets it gets interesting very quick. Different dimension. Mm. Yeah, it's it's unclear at what what time period it is. Yeah. I, I will say though the movie does start off pretty pretty raw. Like with um the boss. The main with the boss, you know. Yes. Like Well, I mean the first half of the movie is first third. It's very intriguing. It like it draws you in. You're you're I I was I was all all in for the first half of the movie. Mm-hmm. And then And then just then it, it's I mean it's just turned into a clusterfuck. Can you, like, give, like, can you give like someone like myself who has not seen it a bit of a synopsis of what the movie's like? Or okay. Is it about <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. This is something that I told uh, Jake yesterday. So, in my personal opinion, here's what went wrong in pre-production. Uh, they were in a room kind of going over the storyboards mm-hmm. and like they were like halfway done they're like okay the the first half that's great let's work on the second half later and then for some reason a gust of wind kind of came in and like pushed all like just threw all the papers on the ground and everybody's kids came into the room and started drawing on top of the storyboards <laughs> and they picked them up put them back on the board and they're like uh okay did we do this it was this yeah okay let's run with this that's that's exactly what happened. Okay, so right. so I guess fighting the, the, frogs the, the and the real synopsis d- is really like <laughs> it starts out like normal yakuza shit, and then the boss is like running it up and like fucking with some other yakuza are doing shit. Like I guess these this particular group is for the people; they don't hurt any like civilians and other stuff like that. They only go after people who are bad. And um, what happens is the boss is going after an, uh, another boss. Uh, from a different yakuza, and he's going to kill him, and they're just shooting the shit out of him and, and beating the crap out of him. But he, he's fine; like he gets shot, and he goes and he kills the guy. And you're like, okay, this is kind of weird. And then you know, ends up the boss is a vampire. His fucking subordinate is like, ends up getting his powers because he gets killed by some <coughs> guys from um from uh. It's called the syndicate. Yeah, he gets killed by the syndicate, um, and which, which is, is very a very vague. Uh, it's very. Group they don't. They don't go into depth on what the fuck that's all about. They don't have logos or baseball caps. But basically, it's like there's all. This, all of a sudden, it's just like it comes from like okay, yakuza vampire thing to just like, just like what I thought was a whole bunch of random manga artists. Start, they're like write a story about this. We don't. I'm not going to tell you anything further. And they just kind of just took all the random bits of story and threw it together and made this movie because it kind of just turned into like just. A tangent of nonsense. <laughs> well, well, uh, I, see, see, Chad, I, I understand that you are probably not. You're not. You're <laughs> I, I, right now. You're probably not getting what the story is about. But that's exactly definitely. what we're telling you is what <laughs> happened. Exactly is this, there is, is this, was <laughs> this an the, option the story between... Is a, the, the story just kind of like goes to shit and nothing Did happens. Did someone choose this over the Martian is what I heard? Yeah, uh, that yeah. was a big well, mistake. That's, oh, wow. No, <laughs> <laughs> I've seen both movies. I've seen both movies as well, and I, I think 100% Yakuza is better. Would go for Yakuza Apocalypse. You know what? You know what? No, Here's kidding. what it is. Yakuza Apocalypse is if you type in Japan on your search in Tumblr and then just scroll down. That's oh, all it is. All right. Nah. Yes. Nah, that's amazing. That's too though. far. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I, I want to say just that much There's about nothing it. Wrong with that. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you this. I you know really the, the, mar- the right, Martian right, was boring as fuck, and at least this <laughs> kept my interest. You know, it was you, you it was what? weird, it was I, random, I, but it was funny, and it was I, yeah, I agree. All cool. that, all that, I agree. All the story bullshit aside, I fucking had so much fun watching the movie. But I was just like, well, I didn't know a, the fuck the was happening. But it was like every every small every clip of random bullshit they did was fun. You know, 
But well, like if, if putting I it together, it, it seems yeah. like it'd be better as like a clips in clips. Like here's the thing that's really cool. Here's the thing that's really cool. But like as like a whole movie, it doesn't make any sense. But it's like it made, really it fun. Made, it made it made sense. No, I mean, <laughs> it told a story. It, it was what? What the right, fuck I, was okay. the story? <laughs> okay, the story's okay. The story's oh, about as thin as a fucking hair. Or, or a spoiler alert, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't matter, There's man. There's no spoilers. It's it's what does. From it. There's a Yakuza to guy, right? He's a boss. He runs a Yakuza clan. Uh, he happens to be a vampire. And he's just a Yakuza boss, as I said. And one day... <clears throat> Can we uh, fast forward to the Kung Fu frog? That oh. guy was the fucking oh, yeah. best part of the movie. Introduction, bro. I mean, that's when things started to get just silly. Silly and kung fu I mean, it, it was it was funny, but like like I'm like I'm saying is like if I had known that because the first half of the movie is very serious and I was like completely into it, <laughs> and then it just completely becomes a comedy uh, parody of I don't know what the hell they were parodying. They were just threw whatever they wanted in there, so it it kind of it kind of so, messed me up because I wanted the resolution to that first story, um, and the second half was funny and uh, you know weird and stuff, and I loved it, but. I just, I just, I just felt like you know. So where the, did, the where, ending to the first half was taken away from me? So he was he was the the most uh, ferocious terrorist in the entire world, right? Where yeah. where exactly does he rank uh, in your top all time frogs? Number one. Yeah, he definitely kicks. Wait, the wait, 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 wait a second. We got no, Kermit, you got Kermit not. the Frog. Oh, what the yeah. fuck is he gonna do, man? Oh, that's oh, well, you know. Bro. Oh, wait, are you talking? Are you talking fighting frogs or just just or frogs? Frog your favorite general, frog, frog character. Of, yeah, frog character, very general hero. You got the frog, frog. sergeant frog. What about the WB frog? That guy that sings with the hat. That yeah, that's a, no. Racist. You know what? Um, he's a racist. Wait, he's racist. I, yeah. <laughs> Chappelle Payne put that put him out with. Oh, okay. Dave, welcome right. back, niggas. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, Mammy. An- an- another one to take into consideration, and maybe not as popular, but uh, Hypnotoad. <laughs> no, no Hypno- Futurama. Hypnotoad's not it, that high, but, man. But he's but a toad, he's a, though. There, it's a toad. toad. I, I, but I love him. He, he's a toad. He has good timing. Definitely, oh, whatever, come definitely on. Definitely whoops Seriously? on Slippy. Slippy <laughs> Let, let's, let's be... Let's <laughs> wait, wait, widen it, the isn't spectrum there, wait, a little bit. Hello, Hello Kitty has a frog, right? Karopi. Uh, nobody knows that. I'm not too sure. I just, I just said everybody, name. everybody knows that. I just said uh, the fucking name. What's it called? Karopi or something. He's huge. He's huge. Nobody uh, knows or that. something. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Okay, so Hello Kitty has a frog guy. I think you're right. Where are you going with this? Yeah, it's it's uh Carol 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 Karopi. Yeah, Why are you saying Caro Caro Karopi? It's just Karopi. That's, because that, apparently, according to uh, to Hello Kitty oh, Wikipedia, his name, name is Caro Caro Karopi. Yeah. That's stupid name. It's all one word. Wait, it's can't. a very stupid name. Wait, you're looking there's, online? There's uh, no. Yeah. I didn't know we could do that. Well, you yeah. gotta, it's, it's, it's hard to do when you're typing on your phone at the same time. We're not testing. But yeah, the weird. Uh, I, I, it, it definitely got extra weird for me once that guy from Bloodborne came in. The guy. Uh, the guy oh, uh, uh, is that a blood, is that blood, a video game? Blood, I don't know. Blood, <laughs> Bloodborne is a video game. Okay. Uh, a very. It's the uh, predis, uh, the successor. Spiritual it's also successor how Ebola to, is transmitted. It's very very terrible. Oh, God damn it! Whoa. Yeah, it turned into something oh, bad. Chad. It's well, blood. Talk about. Chad with the science, bro. <laughs> yeah, at least That's, at least the I video game is relevant to the story somewhat. No, uh, Bloodborne is the <laughs> spiritual uh, successor to Dark Souls. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Wait, spiritual? What the? Because Dark it's not. Souls a, because it's, it's, it's not. It's not called Dark Souls Two. What it, uh, it's like? Okay. It's like Dark Souls for pussies. Oh, okay. I know what you guys are talking about. So, all right. But wait, so Jake, who who is this ca- Bloodborne character that you're talking about? If you're not familiar with Bloodborne, okay. For for all those who are not familiar with Bloodborne, it's the guy with the stupid. Shut up, please. It's the guy with the the fucking uh, coffin on his back and the electro gun. Oh no, you're talking about Gungrave. Yeah, we go. That's what I'm thinking. When you say coffin backpack, yeah. that's what I'm thinking of. He actually, actually, Gungrave is a is a much better representation of what this guy. I mean wrong what he attempted what he attempted to, it's like a really 
shitty cosplay of Gungrave. I guess it's like if he was the only person that spoke English in the whole entire movie, which I sort of. Kind which of was a question weird. I had. I wish he all the didn't. No, no. Yeah, he was yes. the only one yeah. without subtitles. He needed them though. <laughs> But the best part about him is that, like, his weapon was, like, a car exhaust. Yeah. Like, did anyone else catch that? Yeah, like, I was like, what the fuck? There's flanges on the end of that shit <laughs> St- still. Yeah. Like, an electrical, like, spiritual gun. That For some reason, was, that, that kills vampires. Yeah. When did was, that happen? It was straight, like, an, a cat back exhaust. Sounds like a dope yeah. movie. Bro, the movie's it's good. I'll, I liked it. Yeah, I'll say this. As long as you I understand it's, as long yeah. as you understand that it's weird. That's what it is. Yeah. I went in I went in completely blind. So once I was thought I knew what the fuck was going on and then it just turned me on my ass and I was like, I I don't know what to do with this. It was like it's it's worth a watch. But just understand, don't try and follow the story. <clears throat> it's not there. Oh, the sure. Kung Fu is strong. The Kung Fu is strong. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Kung Frog is fucking man. Well, he wasn't the yeah. only one that knew Kung Fu, though. Yeah, but he was the best. No, 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 no. Bro. Buddy from Buddy from uh, Raid Redemption. No, dude. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That even, guy, even 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 after hey, he got his he got he got his ass whoops like straight up fucking Metal Gear Solid Four ending style more video games. Yeah. Reps. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking they they straight up had a, a punch off. What like Ocelot and Snake fight? You mean? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I dig it. That's what's up. They put hands to hands, like if they're about to do that dance and uh, beat it from Michael Jackson, but yeah. they didn't actually tie their hands, and then they just it took turns Aah! and punched each other each other in the face, like yeah. for five times. What? Hey, it's more what, than that. Has anybody yeah, ever no, went through with that and just kind of like ducked or whatever? Like you know, you get your first lick in, but then when it's your turn, it's you an honor turn. thing. No, oh. you probably you probably get your ass whooped after you did that shit because the guy they still stood up and took that hit, man. They got back up. So if you had ducked that first time, you're like, all right, that's it, man. I'm going to fucking whoop your ass. And those little dudes could kick kick booties. Tell wait, you. they're wait, they're all little dudes? Well, they're, you would do this with little dudes? Yeah, I mean, they're all, man, the guy's like, six, like five, five, eight. Are you are you calling out saying all rate Asians are, sh- are short? No, I know that. No, that guy was that definitely sh- shorter. Oh, he was short. He else. was short, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Andy is pretty short. Though. Who, Andy? Damn. <laughs> dude, Damn, dude, I gotta dude, be pulling Andy into this shit, He's not shit, even man. here. Can't even Jeez. defend himself. Bro, what about Zang? Yeah, I was just about to say that. Now. No, no. Dude, Zang is, is like fucking something. six foot five. Six something. He's British. straight from China, mainland. Sure. Damn. He has Yao Ming blood. That's why they Damn. sent him out, though. So you gotta got get him. out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with Yao Ming. Like, you gotta go. Just want to say uh, we love all the Asians. <laughs> Wu Tang. <laughs> Um, True Asians. So yeah, I mean, so That's that bad. frog at the end of the day, like a dude in a costume, like you, the costumes that you see, like these people running around at Disney World pretending to be like Mickey Mouse, but it's just a straight frog costume the mascot. Yeah, he was a mascot. Those popular Jap, like every Japanese like. Prefecture has its own mascot now, and that's what he was like representing. And like, not only was he on a kung fu tip, he also had like this like force eye grip that he would like focus yeah, his yeah, eyes on you and like choke you out. A force choke. Yeah, but with yeah, his hypno toad. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Full circle. Look at that. Let's get Good back job, to it. Luis. Yeah, and like, you even made similar sounds when you did it. <laughs> mm, not quite. That's kind of cheating, though, right? When you can just. Just, just pause somebody. somebody. Yeah, freeze somebody. Like all hell, hypno toad. But the thing is, like, did he freeze someone and like whoop on them? Yeah, yeah. I can't remember seeing that. I yeah. just remember him like choking them out and make them do that little like dance, I like think, I think, oh, yeah. dance, like a metronome. Yeah. No, that's what they did as he walked up to kill them. Oh, I remember. Yeah. He, I think he did it. He did it to one of the dudes in the basement, and he was definitely going to do it to our main our antagonist. Yeah, but I think he did rather. it. He did it to the guy in the basement, and then like he whooped everyone else's ass, and then he whooped that dude's ass. That I mean, like he was strong. Like he was strong. I must say though, the sound effects in that movie when people were getting punched, on point, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe. So <laughs> I don't remember that dude. Nope. All right. Well, I like what's those, that, what, like what, old what's school. What's the other like, movie? 
Uh, what's uh, what's what's on the list here? Well, I, think, I think we covered audition, covered which I three. have not seen, but uh, oh jeez, I don't want to talk about that audition. Wow, so oh my private. god, now that is a movie right there. That's, That's a movie. That's fuck though. I did, audition is the only movie I've ever turned off Cringed. while watching it. Left the room, like had to sit down, and, like take a break and come back. <laughs> yeah, just that Whoa. the ending. I was just like, I can't. I was like, I was, I was gonna stop watching it. I'm like, I gotta see what's up. I gotta finish it. I went back so, and watched it. Is it like on All Boys Things? Oh, it's way yeah. worse. Way worse. It's yeah, yeah. It's worse. Old boy, I like, me and Sam watched but, Old Boy recently. And the American one. Uh, no, oh, no, 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 no. I'm about to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's directed by Spike Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Not, Holding not that one. The Korean version, the original, right? All right. And, no, it's legit uh, though. Isn't that a little bit too, too uh, above his age? age well, he's no way. He's 13 years old. I think it's I'm just I don't know. I don't know about that. New I'm Age, understand. Chad. Well, we watched it, and, uh, well, during the, you know, the reveal, or yeah. the twist, yeah. uh, he just started making, like, weird noises, <laughs> saying, right? He's watching it, and he just started doing something like, uh, uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, something he's still like that. doing those noises to this man. day. He's just sitting in his room right now, just, just uh, uh. You okay, Sam? <laughs> <What's happening? laughs> it's been it's been a week now, son. <laughs> you can get you can come out now. It, it did affect him in a way, right? Uh, but you know, for the most part, right. it was pretty tame compared to audition. Oh, okay, I dig it. This movie sounds dope as well. Yeah, you yeah, might. I mean, I'd... a kid will like. I have very bad thoughts about Asians if he watches audition. I, I would assume so. Yo, what is up with this podcast? You know what? Not it's not not even just that. It's it's if they watch uh, Takashi Miki's movies in general, he yeah, has a all very twisted. Well, he, yeah, well, Ichi the first five minutes of Ichi the Killer when he's like you know outside of that room <laughs> and he's just kind of beaten off into yeah, you fucking. <laughs> you do the whole like what? Did he just fucking come on that plant? <laughs> And then the credits, the title of the movie comes, r- rises out of the cup. <laughs> yeah. It's very, it's, it's the same feeling I got when I watched the Evangelion movie. I was not expecting that. Oh, well, um, I mean, they, that was in I mean, series. but that was, that wasn't as bad. And then they had that. Never mind. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. What, what, what? Oh, yeah. So, Yeah. Yeah, that that guy, he makes some good movies, some crazy movies, um, horror, horror movies. All around, like, good guy, I would say, good director. Like, he doesn't seem like he holds back for anyone. He seems like if he likes it, he's going to put it in a movie, which is good. So, uh, Star Wars is coming out this year, part seven. For real. Christmas yeah. Day, man. <laughs> yeah. Star Wars? What is that? Star Wars. Episode hmm. 7. Is that kind of like Battlestar Galactica? Very similar. Yeah. But it came, it came first, though. Star Wars came first. Oh. Did, did it? Yes. Did it? Nah, dude. Yeah, yeah, pretty sure. Are you sure? No, 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 let's Google it. Let's make sure. Let's Google that. Anyway, until because Chad think, Googles yeah, it. Yeah, because I think the uh, robots were in black and white at some point. You're thinking of Doctor Who, I think. That's okay, he's talking about Cylons, Doctor, the Cylons, excuse me. The Doctor Who, I think. Battlestar Galactica was uh, 1978. Yeah. Yeah, Star Wars mm-hmm. came out first. I think that was 76. Episode, episode, episode. Oh, well, I, I'm, I'm sure they were both in production at the same time. Yeah. Well, it but no, it was a TV series, man. Star Wars, Star Wars was it. Star Wars was, well, outside of 2001. Star Wars was like, it brought, it brought the whole idea of bringing stuff like this to television. And um, and actually being successful, I guess. You know? It was like okay. Battlestar, Star Trek, all of those TV series. Where, where did extent, they go wrong? Of... Damn. I don't know. Wait, which which one? Which what? Where went wrong? <laughs> Damn, he's he's shots fired at Star Wars franchise. Well, I mean, most it's, likely George Lucas. It's so no funny. it's no secret that I'm not the biggest fan. No, I dig it. <laughs> hence, hence the Star Wars. Hence the response. Get out. <laughs> uh, I am excited about this new window. I gotta say, I watched the trailer. It looks pretty dope. Mm-hmm. Again, I haven't seen the trailer. 
It's Force Awakens. I, I, Did you see the poster? Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, the poster already the gave, poster a, gave away. The poster a says lot. everything. I'll tell you. I'll tell you this: yeah. if you've seen the poster, you've seen the trailer. It's exactly the same shit. The, there's absolutely no spoilers in the trailer at all. Yeah, I None. think Abrams is going to do a neat job with this. I think he was born to make Star Wars yeah. movies. Probably not, but he's probably do a really good job. But do you guys think about that? Like, you know, uh, people not liking the obvious reason that they don't like it. Well, let's say a good set of people in America. There's, there's too many black people. Yeah, too much blacks in the Star Wars. Hey, man. You've I seen, one guy. You've seen Lucas' else. wife, right? You like some black, man. That is true. Wait, how many more black people are there in the new Star Wars? Film? I only saw it. There's just the one guy that I saw. Well, he's, I mean, but he's a is black that, stormtrooper, though. Is that is that enough yeah, to throw people know. like completely off their game? And he, oh, yeah. he's holding a lightsaber. <laughs> yeah, there, there was an there was an article that uh, personally I haven't fact checked, but apparently somebody killed themselves because of it. That's fine. <laughs> yes, that that's just awesome. that's actually that's, that's fine. We we don't need that person. I'm sure he yeah. said he's like, oh my god, first Spider Man, and now Star Wars. My life is oh it's man, just, it's just too it much. must have been terrible to find out that the black Spider Man is also a gay. And they're like, oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what threw him over the edge. Yeah. And a Jew. <laughs> oh my God, fucking kill me now, please, Jesus, take my life. Wait, Sammy, Sammy Davis no, Jr. No, was Spider Man? Probably, probably. Uh, I think Sammy Muslim, Davis Jr. Muslim is probably though. like was more believable. He, really <laughs> he was just a snazzy dresser. That's all. I think so. He was part of the Rat Pack. A, f- a little effeminate, I think. Hey, but back in those days, you had to be a little bit flamboyant. Yeah, man. You like know, it was it was, was normal. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, you, s- you still got the ladies. Yeah. We can yeah. share. The, we can share pants, man. It's a bonus. That's true. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I mean, I I saw the trailer. It does look. It looks pretty. I think ultimately, I'm sure story wise, it will uh, play a better homage to like the episodes four, five, and six more so than episodes one, two, and three, because I feel like. Those three were just, hey, it's the future now. We have effects that we can kind of pull off this, the vision that I kind of had but couldn't really do in the earlier ones, but threw the story completely out the window. Now they get this fresh start where it's like, oh, we can tell this concise story and have amazing effects all at the same time. And here's all these original characters. So let's have some fun Christmas Day Star Wars. You know what I'm I mean, I, I know it's not popular, uh, popular, whatever, but I, I enjoyed... I mean, when one, they came out, oh, I enjoyed oh. episode one, two, and three, and yeah. I'm sure everybody did because of the hype no, no, and stuff. No, and no, 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 hear, hear me out, Let's not hear me out. Let's all into one big thing here. Hear me out. Um, it, it was, at that point, you know, I, I've been my I entire life. You're forgetting, I grew up bro. with. Stuff. You're forgetting, no, 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 like, no, no, no. the backlash hear, hear out. It's, was huge. No, Jar Jar no, Binks, I, you don't remember I, that fiasco? I, now that's a racist. Here's right the there. thing. I, I didn't I didn't experience that backlash until I came to America or whatever. Well that's because he um, totally didn't understand to the US. language they were speaking in. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. And no, no. This, it, this this comes from a different place. Like I grew yeah, up with Puerto Star Rico. Wars, of course, but by the time I, I, I was like old to old enough to like be into movies or whatever, you know, Star Wars was an old thing. That's like I didn't point. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't my generation. Yep. So this was the first time that I could experience that for myself and be. I mean, granted, it was obviously not as good as the original, but there was that feeling of like excitement. Oh my yeah. god! I guess you know, new I I'm gonna experience it. I'll say so. That, hopefully, I'll say this. I, this this one this one will hopefully be that experience yeah. that it's both and I believe nostalgic and great and so. a good movie. Yeah. That's what we're all hoping for, I think. So. But I'll I'll, I'll say yeah. on your on your behalf, Luis. Yeah, like. For me, it's, it's kind of the same thing. Like you go in and th- they had the, the the shit was fucking hyped like crazy. The original yeah. three, or the not the original three, but the the prequels. And yeah, I mean, I had some fun with it mostly because I got to go with my dad, and that was fucking cool. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. you know, when you when you actually sit down, and retrospect, and kind of ignore all the hype and all the BS, they were fucking garbage, man. And I I did. I grew up, I mean, watching the videos. I mean, we had VHS of all the whole trilogy, and those were the best shit ever. I watched those like a million times. And, you know, when this shit came out, everybody was so hyped up, and we went to the movies, and I was like, no, this ain't, this ain't really doing it for me. <laughs> you know? Um, and then this, when these trailers come out, it, that's kind of the thing, is I, I feel like it's gotten to a point where they kind of like, 
learn from the mistakes of the past and they're like, all right, let's not try and like, let's actually do this. Let's do these people right. And like, let's do the fucking story right. Instead of like trying to add all this other bullshit and lore into it that we really don't fucking care about. And like the only, the only good thing that came out of the original shit was the whole, or the, or not the original. I keep saying that. The the, one, two, and three. The the, the, the just say one, two, and three. The pre. It's really just one, one, two, and three. I guess it's 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 clone. The empire turned to what it is. Yeah, exactly. The whole Clone Wars shit, like. If 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 that whole shit didn't happen, we wouldn't have Clone Wars probably. Right. Good series, Are you talking the about the Disney cartoon? Uh, was it Disney who made that? Well, first thing it it's started off on Cartoon Network, uh, Disney Channel. Well, Disney owns. Yeah, I'm talking, about Wars, so. I'm talking about the original. Well, that's the 2D now. animated. Uh, yeah, Clone yeah. Wars. Yeah. Yeah. Clone Wars? That's the man. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. Yep. He made uh, Pop- Dexter's Lab and right? Pop-Up Girls and Pop-Up and, Pop-Up and Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack. Yep. Was that was that series uh, that cartoon series? Was that also about like trade disputes of the Federation? It, it, and I guess it, uh, it, it was. It was more about the clones. It, it, it's what came after. It, it what came. It, it's what what the trade disputes ended on. Yeah. So or what it what it started. It, it literally which was up the war, the actual between, Star War. It, it picked up in between <laughs> two and Wars. three, if I recall. Not the right? Star Diplomacy. Yeah, we didn't have to listen to the fucking bullshit where people were just talking all day. It's got straight to the good stuff. But uh, yeah, Christmas Day, man, it should still be good. I do suggest we still watch it. And on top of that, I'm really happy that I got I got tickets. That the the trailer isn't over like like showing too much because well, first of all, you can kind of go in with a little bit more like a little more blind to it, which always makes the movies a little bit better. True. And second, uh, it kind of is a sign that the movie may not suck balls. Because when they show so much, like when they showed like Darth Maul and all that kind of shit in, in the prequels. That was pretty much it. The the, the, that's the whole movie. You fucking like, oh, cool. He has a double white saber. That would have been kind of cool to keep secret. But um, did they show Jar Jar though? Yeah, they showed Jar Jar Binks, but they made him seem a lot like maybe funnier. <laughs> they probably picked his best co- like lines in the whole movie for the trailer. I don't even remember. Go see it it's like, uh, why, why this but guy, pod racing was good though. As I'm saying, it's still early. Hmm. It's still November hasn't even happened, so they might have another trailer that you know shows. No, a no, no. More. This, this is. Oh, that was this it? Is the Final last one. one. Yeah, they oh, said okay. that this is. They will put no more trailers out. Oh wow, they're definitely doing a good job yeah. then of keeping it on the wraps. Uh, so. I would say oh. JJ Abrams knows what he's doing. I will say, I will I say this so. too. I really enjoy that. This is like the first Star Wars. Mm. It's, it's 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 the ones it's, where they get like where we we're watching like the Force kind of disappeared. With Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker, and now hey 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 hey, hey. what the what are you talking about? I, I don't want to know. All right, well then if you if you don't want to know that, Bro, then don't do then, just, the then don't of, listen to the title of, of the movie. <laughs> don't listen to the title. Just. Go to Star Wars. Like, I don't. don't uh. I mean, the end of yeah, the end of six, bro. Yeah. Like Darth Vader dies, and Luke Skywalker is like what? The last. Yeah, spoiler alert! If you didn't watch this movie, I didn't know that shit. Thirty years you ago, did. forty years ago, you never watch the last the the last Star Wars. Today. I really don't remember Return of the Jedi all that well. What? All right, well, spoiler well, alert was, from fucking though. forty oh years God. ago. Uh, yeah, Darth Vader is fucking dead. That's why you see a mushed up helmet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and uh, he's Luke's dad. Yeah, he's Luke Skywalker's father. Yoda's dead. Yoda's mad. Obi Obi Kenobi won or whatever. Yeah, so he's dead. Technically, the only real uh, Sith or not Sith Jedi anymore. Anyone with the, the Force, Sith Lord is anyone dead. with the Force period is Luke Skywalker. Yeah, that's it. So all all the rest of it's lore to the world here. What about his daughter? Uh, yeah, but Whoa, nobody. Sh- she, I guess she doesn't really know about it quite yet, or at least it's not canon yet in this. Wait, his, so is that uh, Ray or? No, his uh, daughter has a different name, doesn't she? Yeah, but that's comic book stuff. We don't know. They might not. That might go be. Yeah, that, that might not route. be in the movie universe. Yeah, they can do whatever they want now, which is actually kind of cool. Um, one thing though that I do hope in to see in these new movies, uh, I think this is something that Carlos and I had talked about sometime way back, where in one, two, and three when they focus on like the dudes with the force and the lightsaber battles, it was just like watching, like even in part two, I think they just took a scene from crouching, hidden tiger dragon or whatever. <laughs> and it made Yoda, Yoda do like some ninja stuff and whatever and lightsaber and like battles like that. But then if you look into like, you know, four, five and six, 
it was kind of more like knights type of fighting. Oh, they're more uh, samurai. Lightsaber. They just took a lot of inspiration yeah. from samurai. So, and on top of that, those battles were a lot more epic than watching the kung fu style battles. Like, well, I, I won't say they're a lot more epic. I just think they're they were just more one-on-one. One one anything, they were just more yeah, personal exactly. in comparison to like a room of Jedi's fighting you know, a room of other. I guess what I'm saying. I guess what I'm saying. Epic. I mean, it seemed like it was more. Uh, yeah, because the whole it wasn't so flashy. It was like yeah. just more about the person versus the other person. They had more of a. It was more of a conversation with with lightsabers. I'm willing. I'm willing to say that was inadvertent due to the fact of like the lack of technology back then. Like, I, oh, yeah, I want to give. I want to give Lucas the benefit of doubt that he can tell a story that succinctly. It's like, oh, I can't really put that many lightsabers into this movie. It is 1976, oh. for God's sakes. That's true. <laughs> mm, kind of, yeah. I guess, because initially the stormtroopers were all supposed to hold lightsabers as well. Yeah, and you fucking completely like back that up. Yeah. yeah, but that was just concept design. No, no, I that mean, was that was. I don't think that made it the final. So those little tubes on the back are. They just didn't have the resources. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that anything good that came out of the first few Star Wars was. Completely by accident. Yeah, I like yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense now because we have the comparison for episodes one, two, and three. But is this kind of like back then? Is this what he had available to him? Yeah. But I mean, it's it should be a good movie. Hopefully, it lives up to it and does extremely well in the box office. All I can say is that Disney is most likely going to make probably more than two billion dollars off of this movie. What comes out next just, year as far as Marvel's concerned? Is it, uh, well, yeah. Captain America? Next year is Captain yeah, America. Oh, wow. But they're, I mean, for this for hard, this man. year alone, <laughs> let's just look at it. Like, ever since Disney bought Marvel, you know, and especially since they bought Star Wars, like, this year is going to be huge for them. You, you know, know, they're, they're not, they already knocked out the Avengers, the Ant-Man, uh, uh, and now it's Star Wars. Yeah. Like, come on, Christmas well, Day. Bro. Let's that's, let's all I, let's I all agree that Universal is the one that really killed it this year. Oh, you think? Yeah, man. How? Oh, okay, okay. Well, they all did, right, Universal. They, did, yeah. they they definitely had uh, Fast and Furious. Yeah. Rest in peace, Paul Walker. So, a little moment of silence, please. Still haven't seen that, by the way. No. What? All right, cool. Really? That's good. Um, I did hear yeah. silence in there somewhere. What yeah, else? there was what a little bit of Universal silence. Have? <laughs> uh, only Jurassic Park. Oh man, Jurassic it World! It is that was now nice. the, the number three highest grossing film. That's I America. like that movie. Imagine that. I haven't seen that either. It took over. It was, of, um, Avengers. You, know, you, you don't need to see it. It's a good movie. It's okay. You're my boy, Blue. Uh, it's good. Well, I mean, well, well, going un, back to the Star un, Wars un, thing, the person who's getting the most out of this shit is Steven Spielberg, because he literally does nothing and then just gets all the money for Star Wars. Oh yeah, that's for true. Star Wars. He lost, he, yeah, him. He lost the Star bet. Wars. No, no, there was a bet. Actually, he won the bet. bet. It was back in the day. It was back in the day. It was just Lucas and Steven Spielberg swapped like uh, a shitload of royalties <laughs> for each other's space movies. I thought you were gonna movies. say. I thought you were gonna say women. Swapped women, <laughs> and there's like yours is That's better. So I get in the seventies. Contracts. No, but they cash. yeah they 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 each took like a sh- like I don't, I don't even know how many percentage of uh, the share of each person's movie. You mean between and, like what Star Wars and ET or something? And no, it wasn't ET. It was uh, First Encounters. Oh, oh and, uh, 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 and fucking uh, Steven Spielberg just sits down, and money comes I, in. I Star thought it was a bet. I thought I thought uh, I thought George Lucas uh, thought that the movie was gonna tank, it and thought, uh, Steven Spielberg was actually the one that's like, okay, I'll bet you that it won't. No, no, no. It was like uh, Lucas thought that his movie was gonna do shitty, and he was gonna get the better better end of the deal, and. I guess. Well, that yeah, exactly. No, no that's. What I I'm guess it didn't really work out for Lucas. It worked out for. Ever since, ever since then, Steven Spielberg has been the father of George Lucas's daughter. Yeah. What are you talking about? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's that, that could be the that case a, as well. That is a paradox. I'm pretty sure. I like that's that. Exactly what that was. <laughs> Alright. Um well anyways, the <laughs> in in my opinion no the best movie that. I've s I've the best movie I've seen so far this year, hands down, is Sicario. Sicario. Whoa. I keep hearing what? Good things about this one show. of those. I haven't seen that, seen but I it it's has Emily movie. Blunt in it, right? What's it called? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, I should watch it. I like her. Sicario. Best with, movie uh, of the Benicio year. Toro. Without a doubt, what is it, what Mexican, is it about? Mexican Mexican yelling, Jesus. If you add up the next five best Pretty movies much. of the year, they're not as good as Sicario. Oh man! All right, 
we got Fast and Let Furious. Let me see. I, I I have to check if the movie uh, has made his budget its budget back. Uh, I mean, damn, Fast and Furious. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, finally, it's grossed more than the budget. I'm happy about that. That's oh, good on them. About thirty mil. Uh, I mean, I it, looked, it, yeah. it looked expensive to make. It was it was a thirty million dollar movie, and That's to bad. date, Jeez. I mean, it, never even heard of it, this movie. It came out. It came out in uh, early just October. Came out. Yeah, it just came out. Um, yeah. and it's gross about thirty six. Oh, good million. on them. That's not bad. Yeah. I, no, I, and the re- the reason I'm very concerned about it is because if the movie doesn't really make that much money, the studios will probably not keep making them, mm. uh, which is disappointing because the movie was was fantastic. Josh Brolin's in it. What do you mean uh, keep making them? Like Sicario two, Sicario three? No, 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 no. Like <laughs> Sicario four, the payback. Uh, like Sicario the push, Revolution. Push more movies <laughs> yeah. of this style. I guess more independent of that... mainstream films right now. Essentially, mm-hmm. like we need we need I movies mean, that are successful like that to push studios to make better movies. Essentially, it's like hey, NWA. It's, it's you know Sicario only costs us thirty million, but look, it grossed its money back since it came out. Sure, let's take another gamble on another film that has nothing to do with Avengers or Jurassic Park. Because you know, we can make some money and actually tell a good story, kind of thing. So I'm with you there. Well, I'm with you there, Luis. That's also what happened with Straight Outta Compton. Yeah, that movie was sick. I need to see that as well. Yeah, me too. I'm behind on my movies, man. Fucking a. Also Universal. Uh, oh yeah, oh, damn. Okay. Whoa, well, there you go. Whoa. <laughs> Barry Bonds aiming for like so, the outfield there. I think it. They're coming through this year. Yeah. That's place. Don't- uh, uh, the only other movie I was really looking forward to seeing and is out right now is uh, Black Mass. What is that? Don't. It, is that out? It, it's Shit, uh, it's Johnny out right Depp now, where it? he plays like the the. Oh the yeah, crime boss I heard. I heard that movie good. wasn't good. I heard the the trailer shit, yeah. was amazing. Mm. Come on, and, September. <laughs> like the movie was just not good. Really? Like people were saying that he should stick to making pirate movies. Oh, damn. What, a, oh, what about sad. uh what about the uh, Alice in Wonderland? Alice in Wonderland. Oh, did I watch? Me, Are you Oz? talking about Wait, Oz? Yeah, Oz. That's what you're talking about when he was No, no Alice, Alice in Wonderland is nothing. He was the wizard. No, Oz. He was the No, Oz, yeah, Oz, was, Oz, James Oz is with James Franco. Yeah. He was the wizard and Sorry. he was And the Mila Kunis. <laughs> Putting in double time. Oh, that's right. Alice in Wonderland was uh it really did much for me. I don't remember that. No, that, that was a long time though. It's oh. it's with uh, it's Johnny Depp's Mad Hatter and he Tim Burton movie. Know. Come on, when Tim Burton, yeah, remember? Well, the big ass head lady, 2010. Oh, no, oh yeah, so Willy Wonka, Mad Hatter, Jack Sparrow, and yo, wait, what about Whitey, that gangster Whitey movie Whitey he's coming out in? Oh my Black god, Mass. that gangster <laughs> movie that um Johnny Depp's That's coming a- out in apparently <laughs> supposed to be like his best role to date. Bro, we were just oh, talking about that. We're, that's we're Black Mass. About that. Oh, that's no. Black excuse Mass. me. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, his best role to okay. date. Everyone's saying that he sucks. Check, check no, but through. that. <laughs> Wait, it's not Black <laughs> Yeah, it plays yeah, Whitey Bulger, Black the Mass. fucking Italian mobster dude. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. not Italian, Irish mobster. Looks good. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but uh, it, it says here that it came out in uh, September 18th. I'll yeah. pass. I'll pass. Or or in that. Yeah. Excuse me. So that, it's been a while. Yeah, actually, was, that, uh, someone that checked Rotten in Tomatoes. See what 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 it what it's got. So I don't the, trust Rotten the, Tomatoes so much. The only movie that keeps popping up right now is over and over again. Back to the Future. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I, Which I, is I, now holy in the past. shit. By the way, Sicario has ninety three percent in Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, Seventy six nice. on oh. Rotten Tomatoes for Black Mass. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's that I ain't mean, bad. That's, that ain't bad. That's, 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 not, a, that's a that's B not plus. Yeah, that's a solid C B. right there, man. Yeah, you're right. That's a C plus. When you, C plus. When there's nothing else on Netflix, pop that in. Sure. You won't be Just, upset. But uh, what were you saying before this? You're introducing uh, Back to the Future. Back to the Future. Yeah. Switch is now in the past. Who's getting all, uh, all dates are in the past? Oh now. no. Who's gonna buy that? I think to look forward to now. Pepsi, Wait, they they don't they don't go more into the future, ever? No, no, it, they just this go is, to September no, twenty. I mean, sorry, October twenty first, two thousand fifteen, and then they go back to eighteen sixty six. So, that, so no, that that's 18. the futurist that they go to. Yeah, that's the yeah, yeah. the futurist. We're, we'll, we'll let the that go. The entire movie is in the past now. Yeah. That's yes. They should go and say, can they go into the more future? 
They they no, could, they, but they, they, they didn't, didn't. They did not go into the, the more. The problem is, is that it will be obvious that they won't because uh, they unless it's like all right now it's 2015 let's go in the future because we're old and shaky both of us. Yeah, you can find no. a cure for Parkinson's already. Because right? I mean, like Christopher right. Lloyd. That's what the next. Yeah, that's what we... the next. The next oh. the future. We need to find a cure for Parkinson's, Marty. <laughs> oh man, that's horrible. <laughs> it's a little Come dark. On. <laughs> I'm shaking my Michael head. Michael J. Fox. Don't worry, I'm sure. Oh, I'll, I'll, don't shake your head. Oh man, oh, man, the spot. We gotta find it for you now, those two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys, horrible. All right. Shout out to uh, Michael J. Fox's uh, Parkinson. Um, He's still killing it though. Foundation. Foundation. Uh, foundation. Foundation. Yeah. yeah. Doing, doing his, big things. Doing his thing. Oh, big up to Nike for coming through with the power mags with the oh man, well, that, air mags. Well, the they, they, they also released his uh, 1985 shoes, Nikes. Oh, the oh, we released the, them. The the um, white ones the with Bruins. the uh, red. I think they're Air Bruins. They look like Nike yeah. Cortez. Yeah, they, they, they do. They are. I mean, I don't think I don't think they made custom shoes back uh, in 1985 for them. They didn't need to. No, they just gave just... him here. It's, this is what we have today. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Those Bruins that he had on, the ones with the red tick, mm-hmm. they were just regular shoes. Mm-hmm. But the but, mags, but they're bringing but they're bringing it back. Yeah, they're bringing that color Dude, back. So those self tied tying shoes are going to be like super expensive. Yeah. Well, how they're going about it? It's next year, 2016. I think sometime in spring, they're going to do it like the first time they release the non power lace. Air mags. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to be for auctions. So, chances of regular civilian people getting their hands on them <laughs> no really hard. Way. They have but some fucking. Civilians. You got to be in the army. Uh, no, it's auction. They're going to be like auctioned army. off. Wait, did you say civilians? <laughs> yeah, civilians, okay. like regular, regular. Yeah, peeps. like only army. Because if you're you in know, the one percent, like, you can get some. Be on the move. The rest of oh, us, okay. nope. Sorry, but I mean, they look pretty sick. You, you know what you can get though. Some Pepsi Perfect. Well, I'm more of a Coke guy. What is Pepsi that? I don't know. That. That's the that's the Pepsi from the movie that they had with the really weird bottle. Uh, uh, it came up out where, like where it came can, up out where, of the, where out can of the you desk get that? or whatever. I think in I'm not even sure. I think you can buy it from Pepsi. Hot I'm not 100 percent sure about that. But I think their bottles are about twenty to forty dollars for a bottle. Oh, fuck so that. They sold that at the '80s cafe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's where you get on, it. Uh, on the same it's topic. Perfect. I think I missed out on pretty much any excitement with this, but uh, Nike re-release, I believe they're called the Vandals from the first Terminator that Kyle Reese uh, stole. It's like just black with a white, with a white Nike uh, Yo, tick. show us a picture and, of that. Uh, I'm trying to grab a look. Now, here's the... Uh, Chad trying to put Terminator into this first podcast, oh, yeah. no matter what. I really thought that Chad was going to tell us about the power mags again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I was there. I'm oh. not. I'm not. I was Matt, there. Matt props to Nike for the power bag. <laughs> but I'm uh, pretty no, sure um, Nike um, re-released them, but I'm not are, sure. Those are pretty fresh, man. I gotta say. Yeah, they are. Ooh, that, that's perfect. from what? From the first Terminator, and they reintroduced it when Genesis dropped. Because you know, Terminator. it's supposed to be. Um, that's a movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger where he plays a robot from the future. Oh, thank you. But who's wearing them? Uh, Kyle Reese. Kyle Reese. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, <laughs> uh, John Connor's dad. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know who that is. Who's, I just didn't you know, know he, he, he yeah. impregnates Sarah, with, which yep. is not uh, Sarah Connor. With his, Actually, no, his her Siemens. name is Sarah Connor. That's how. So, that's how. Wait, the, the actor though, who's that? That guy. Uh, uh, which guy? The, Michael Bean the was original the original one, one and Michael this Jai Court. Yeah, and this Jai Court guy is the new one. Michael Bean. Michael Bean. That Michael Bean. Bean. Yeah. Bean. Also not in, related uh, to Mr. Bean. In, uh, <laughs> he's also in Aliens. In Aliens, right? That's yep. him. He's a, he's like the like the. what's his name? The main leader. Yeah, yeah. Yo, okay, real quick. I I just revisited Alien. So who like, wait, last who night? did uh that uh that movie? Was it Ridley Scott? Yeah, he did the first one. Cameron did the okay. second one. Mm-hmm. What about? So we started off the podcast talking about the Yakuza. Has anybody seen the very good Ridley Scott movie about the Yakuza? No. Okay. What's it called? Yakula, Yakuza's in space. <laughs> Yakula, Yakula, <laughs> Yakula. Right. Oh, it's Black Rain. Black Rain. There you go. Oh my God, Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas, dog. No thanks, bro. He was dope in Yakuza. that one movie. Oh, Michael Douglas again, bro. The red shirt. <laughs> Look Come at on. that poster. Wait, you talking about Black? You talking about Ant Man? <laughs> this looks. I, I've seen this. I, I kind of like Ant Man. 
Anyways, wait, before we move on from Back to the Future, I, I did want to uh, note something. Because I'm, I'm probably the, big, the biggest Back to the Future fan Chocolate. here, I, w- I would say. He has a bad it, preach. It, preach. It, 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 it affected my life God, hurry up. in a good way. <laughs> it it got me to me. where I am today. Jesus Christ. Which is not very far. But um, no, I, I was um, I was a little disappointed on, on the 21st that I didn't really plan to do anything on that day. Mm. And I don't know. It just seemed like I, I, I see all these pictures of people in, in all that L.A. or whatever because they, they actually brought brought out a bunch of the uh, um, I'm, I'm assuming what I'm assuming are replicas of, of the sets and stuff like that. And people have fun. That, that was a lot of fun. I, I didn't do shit. And then uh, the next day on the 22nd, USA Today released the actual newspaper. Oh, um, nice. Well, at least oh, the, yeah, cover, the cover. The cover. The, the, yeah. The sun. Yeah, when, where it was in the movie, which what makes it even cooler is like, okay, if, you know, if uh, a uh, a past, somebody from the past were to travel to today, he could pick that up and, you know, that that's, it's fun. Um, the thing is, I, apparently USA Today is not carried by a lot of people. It's kind of dumb. Uh, I think there was only like at least here in San Francisco, there was only like one newsstand that carried it. And it's like a newsstand that's literally right in front from the USA Today office. Everybody else, no, nobody else carries it. And they were closed like super early. Um, Cause I, I went after work. I was like, you know what? Let me, let me try. So I walked to a bunch of newsstands and either they didn't have newspaper or they just didn't carry that one. So I was a little disappointed. I was like, damn it. I just completely blew all my opportunity at anything related to. Could you Back order? To the future. Online. That did not stop you from posting like seventeen things on Facebook. Yeah, about Back to the Future. Though. Well, but yeah. well, because I, I want I wanted to I wanted to justify, um, to the world or to, pretty much to myself. You know, when you post on Facebook, you're just justifying to yourself anything, whatever you post there. Um, I just I just wanted to like vent and tell myself, you know what? It doesn't matter. Those are just physical objects. The movie will still live on in my heart or whatever. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, to what Chad was saying, I was like, you know what? We're in the f- we're in 2015. This is the future, okay? We are in the future. We should be I be able to order anything online. You can. So I went on the. F- yeah. No. Even better. On- God damn it! Let me finish. Hurry up. I went. <laughs> I went on USA Today's <laughs> website, and guess what? You can order fucking however many copies you want off online. The thing is, you you go on eBay and people are already selling that shit for like twenty bucks or more. I bought like fucking four copies for ten dollars <laughs> on on USA Today, and the, they'll be here like next week or whatever. But there you go, bro. Least, frame uh, it, love it. I was tell like, you, you know what? Yeah. Convenience. Tell your kids, it's gonna be great. Frame one, yeah, sell two, really and be an uh, I'll give them all a copy of the uh, what of the newspaper. Well, what about the one that's framed? You're Man. gonna give them the fucking shit. Nah, the, you know, here's the old nah, shitty one. yellow ones. You can't have the one I have like vacuum sealed. In my frame here. Yeah, that 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 was it's, it's going in the, the grave. Past. That's going in the grave with me, kids. They're gonna be like, back Dad, we don't want this fucking shit. This is stupid. That's in the Back to the Future vault on the house. It's full nah, of replicas and DeLoreans and just everything. Back to the Future. They won't. They won't touch it. Mm-mm. Any of them. You know what'd be a lot cooler is if you had the fucking Blade Runner gun. Is it? Wait, is back? So is yeah. Back to the Future good? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. It's, it's oh really, my god. It's a it's really good. You. <laughs> really good <laughs> movie. <laughs> Carlos acting like he never One, seen that. Two show. and three. Uh, wait, I mean that's the same movie where apparently like this What's white guy up? goes back in time and invents rock and roll. Yeah, and he also tries to have sex with his mom. Yeah. Okay. So that's not <laughs> raising any okay. like that's cool. any eyebrows. Two, two, two things. Well, two things. Thing is, First of all, on, he doesn't try to ha- he doesn't try to do anything with his mom. His mom tries to do something with him, which is understandable because He's around she has no fucking clue. DVDs. Well, I mean, she kind of did take off his pants, which is kind of weird. Um, and the whole like rock and, and roll out. thing, I understand in today's day well, how people see that. But to me, it's like it's like a shout out <laughs> and like sure a mad, mad respect to the guy. <laughs> Thank God this, this for white people inventing rock and roll. <laughs> nah, come on. This was uh, Robert Zemeckis, <laughs> right? People, no, it's all yeah, sense. taking shit too serious. So, so he's he's the the guy that did uh, the train movie, train uh, spotting, Polar function. Express. He likes Which trains, one? I don't know. The, the 3D I'd ha- one? I didn't, the, I didn't see the that. Actual didn't you not, have you not seen the second, or was it the third Back to the Future? Trains, bro. He was ready for trains back then. Yeah, man. Polar Express all day. 
He, mm. I, you know what? Mm. I like Robert. Wait, he did Forrest Gump. That was a good movie as well. That's a classic. There's, uh, yeah, was it? I'm pretty sure there's a train in that too. Mm, no, no uh, train. Wait, Jenny leaves on a train bus. No bus. bus. No, she, uh, full oh, full of AIDS riddled uh, seventy hippies. Seventy. It's hippies. just buses in that movie. No mm, trains. Much. Helicopters and Holy buses. Cow, train. And running. Trains and more trains. And uh, there's a there's a truck scene in there. He's, he is wearing Nike trainers at one point. Oh, he's wearing he's wearing Nikes all day. Yeah. Shout out to Nike for like holding it down the movie uh, industry for this year. Yo, he just did uh the walk. I didn't see that. I didn't see it. Is that what, I don't is think that I'm was, gonna uh, see that. What's his name? Loki. Joe, nope. nope. Joseph Gordon. Oh, where we crosses the twin towers? Or the trailer for that? But no. Nope. That's stupid. I heard you're supposed to watch that in yeah, so IMAX. Yeah, and this field. I, and, I like, heard nauseated. his uh, French accent was terrible. I heard like a lot of people like said like, "Oh my god, the movie makes you puke." The, and bio- stuff, the biography. And... Well, I, I shouldn't say biography. Excuse me. How, do, uh, how does it make oh, you documentary? Watching, watching the movie. In three. You know, you, you get the the sense of like yep. vertigo. Mm. You're like, oh man, I'm really walking here on this. I did not thing. realize how close this road was actually to each other. No, I didn't know that's that. Yeah. I was down there like a couple of weeks ago. Actually, yeah, I was with you, Chad. Yeah, but yeah. When a Special K gave us like a late night New York yeah. tour, you didn't re- and, like, you uh, really don't realize how close <laughs> nice. these buildings were to each other. Yeah, they're super yeah. close. It looks yeah, you c- completely what, different when you're looking well, at photos. Didn't you see what the buildings? No, I, oh, I know. Yeah, I never yeah, got to see them. I, I I went up actually. The first time I was ever in New York was Christmas of two thousand one. So that was kind of like, damn. Yeah, damn. Was, that was an experience. <laughs> oh, shit, I was, yeah, I was I was there in the eighties, but I was too young. Yeah. I, I was <laughs> Did you not see? <laughs> yeah. Basically, we get, all we got like, to all we got like to see were the holes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> how, how, right, how close are the how close are the holes? They are the quite are close. close. Are really close. They are quite close. You can't walk. I mean, the dude, the guy that actually literally walked across that. They couldn't oh, be yeah. more like a hundred feet. I think that might be. I mean, yeah, off. maybe. But I mean, if, maybe oh, not even no, that. No. He's on top of the twin towers, yeah, which are like it's really so high in the air. Them is high, man. You know, on a thin rope with a stick to balance himself. No harness. No parachute. Just, no parachute. Just wind. Just, and just prayers. No, no prayers. He was just bossing it up. You know, wait. So he wait. Does he make it? Yeah. No. Wait. No. I think he does. Spoilers. At the end of the like at the end of the movie, like. Oh, spoiler alert! Let's look that up. Someone does he make it? Seventeen meters high. What a shit movie! I'd be so fucking pissed if he didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the best. I'd be like, God, yeah. fuck, man! I just went through all this bullshit just to watch this guy fall to his death. I don't need this shit. It's a waste of my. Nah, I'm pretty hour. sure he doesn't like die. The, like at the end of the Martian when they kill Matt Damon. Yeah, everyone yeah. dies. The Martians kill Matt Damon. Yeah, the Martians come out and they say, stop trying to drink our water, and they shoot him with a laser. Yeah. He makes his own water. Yeah. No, he has his, uh, his own supply, and he pees in a thingy. At least that's what the book said. No, that's not, that's not what he does. He does some fucking weird weird thing with... Uh, uh, he, he signs the shit out of things. Uh, no spoilers, I haven't finished it. What? Whatever. That That movie was... It was a movie, uh, but we're not. We don't yeah. need to go back there. Um. So yeah, the walk. We didn't see that. Um, Fuck that. I don't know what we're talking about. The walk. Twin Towers. Nine Eleven. Rest in peace. What about this? This the new alien project that he's working on. Possibly. Uh, I'm sorry. Um. Rid- Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott. Ridley, yeah. Prometheus oh, two. I mean, Prometheus. Prometheus Sup- two slash supposed alien to tie into something the first else. Alien film. So he is doing it. Aliens Paradise Lost. Is that it? That's that's what ties them together. Mm. That's what the movie is. I have no idea. All I know yeah, is, I is that fucking what's his face is doing the legitimate sequel to the second movie. What's his name? Neil Blomkamp. Yeah, like he's doing a legitimate sequel to. I don't think it's four. I think he's literally counting out three and four, and it's mm. going one, two, and his film, and that's going to be great. It's great. Yeah, because it, well, it has Sigourney Weaver good. and it has Michael Bean in it, and that's mm. the. <laughs> Oh, Michael uh, Bean is in it. Yeah, bring him back to Bean. What's that dude's name, is a, bro? Is is Michael Douglas in it? No, no, oh. not. <laughs> Michael Fassbender is going to be in this. Don't get this way. But what what I want to say though, because I just recently watched Alien, 
Bro, like, seriously, if you're on any, like, space exploration mining craft and you see something, like, you know, whatever, uh-huh. like, you have to check it out because of space law. One, don't do it. <laughs> Two, if you do do it and, like, your homies come in and, like, you know, someone got attacked and, like, you know, Ex- their face mask is, like, fucked up. And, like, you know, protocol is, like, listen, we got to wait 24 hours until... Protocol, we, you mean? Yeah, the protocol was, you know, because for Ripley not to let them back in in case of, you know, like, contamination or anything like that, you know, actually follow that protocol yeah. and not let an alien or any bacteria inside of this place and everybody would have been fine. Those three people would have died. Ripley and... The other crew members would have gone home and made it home safe, and aliens would never have happened. Wait, wasn't it? That. Wasn't it? What kind of what screwed them up in the was... first place was the android going mental in the first Alien film? Like, yeah. no. Well, the, the, no. the android had a prime directive that nobody knew, which right, was yeah. to salvage uh, whatever alien but, life or whatever. Right, exactly. So that's so more uh, than uh, above, them above, over above the their alien. lives, which was actually a very similar plot to Prometheus. Yeah. It was all the same movie, really. It's pretty much exactly yeah. the same. <laughs> Except it's a terrible yeah. film. <laughs> yeah, what? I, I, I enjoyed I it. I fucking hate listen, Prometheus. It listen, such a bad but, movie. Okay, it's okay. Right. I, I, if I can okay. say one thing about Prometheus, okay. go ahead, go you ahead, can Shane. hate a movie. One thing. Even if it's good. Yeah, listen. I always hate Spider-Man. I can hate Prometheus. He doesn't hate it. People I, need to do one thing doesn't understand. Movies. Just one thing. <laughs> and this one thing that I'm talking about is just communication. They, it, it just seemed like there was no communication in that whole entire movie. But then we won't have movies. Oh, are That's you all. fucking kidding me? Prometheus. That, Prometheus yeah, is the one movie. where she does a like a self surgery, or right, like a, or like a uh, like a self C section. C section. Yeah. yeah. She does that. that yeah. Is a, that's well, it's, an it's, amazing it's, scene. Talking about talk about fucking well, poor yeah, communication. That's, that's, this yeah. fucking woman had a fucking C section, screaming and shit in the door, like n- right next door to all the rest of her crewmates, and didn't even decide to bring it up and say, "Oh, look, a big ass fucking alien just came out of my fucking you, yeah." Stomach. No one you're said that. Me, you're gonna tell me you're gonna open a door to a guy who is sitting with his legs wrapped behind his back because he's your crew member. He's like, "Oh man, look, he's outside. Let's open the door and see what's up." <laughs> are, are you okay, are, Bill? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just practicing my yoga out here in space. No. <laughs> no, and of course, of I, course, I, I was I was okay with that movie. I mean, there was what pose is that? Let's called? let's run away, let's run away from the ship that's rolling towards us <laughs> in the direction that is rolling towards us. No, yeah, no. See, the, she's a scientist. What, what, she's, not, what, she's not smart. Well, that that was just uh, what, what I what I shock up everything to be is. I mean, when you're in that situation, there's not a lot of thinking that you're probably going to be I, doing. You know? Sure, Here, let's yeah, just, you just, just, just freak out. I don't know. You just that's freak just out. Okay, Unless I, will, I will say this. I will say this. I will say this. My disappointment with the film draws specifically from how hyped I was for it. Um, Less true. of how, I guess, how good overall the movie was. Because, yes, effects wise, linear, linearly speaking, was kind of cool. But I went in there with a lot of hype and was extremely disappointed by that film. So that's where a lot of yeah. my, you know, the taste, this te- I guess, you uh, know. Detestment for it comes I from. Get, yeah, and on top of that, and on top of that, if you look back at all the other fucking Detestment, futuristic strong. space type movies that Ridley Scott has made, yeah, this is like a fucking turd sandwich compared yeah. to the rest of the shit he's done. I mean, I was, uh, I, I was won't ready. Say that far. My body was. Ready I, for that I, I would say, I, at least, I would say that that movie is uh, more Ridley Scott than The Martian. Yeah. In the Martian, sense that yeah. the totally, The Martian totally. did not did not have like a Ridley Scott stamp on it. It was boring. That's it. <laughs> Wait, so stupid question. Really, Scott did did Martin? He directed it. Okay, cool, yes, cool. Chad. Excuse me, excuse me. I haven't seen it. I haven't looked into it. My fault. My fault. It's looking for information. It's it's fine. Fine. We're not going to crucify. Don't chastise me. Most people, most people on the internet don't, don't know chastise what chastise the fuck they're talking about either. <laughs> Nobody does. Can we? Can we uh, all promise to uh, before we do another one of these, we have to watch Black Rain. Yeah, we got to. Oh. We got to watch Black Rain. What's Black Rain about? <laughs> it's fucking it's about, about fucking Michael the Douglas. Yakuza, dude. He goes to Japan oh. and fights like a million Yakuza. Okay. Yeah, Michael Douglas goes to Japan Here, and listen. becomes the the best Yakuza. All you gotta do is and, just and the, all you the gotta do is just look at the at the movie poster and that's Yo, all you put need. Put that movie poster in the chat real that's quick. That's all I, you I, need. I, you need to see. I gotta this. see it. I gotta see it. Too. 
<laughs> is this oh that's 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 Snowden. Yo, yeah, someone go. else put that Yakuza thing. I got you. So so pretty much Michael Douglas was like he was the, main the last Yakuza. samurai before Yep. Wait, Tom wait. Cruise was the last samurai. Hans Zimmer did the music for Black Rain. Oh my god, this is probably the best movie. I think I need to watch this now. Whoa. There you go. That's a really? better one. Directed by Early Scott. Scored by Hans Zimmer. You know what? Okay, oh, I'll watch wow. it. Yeah, that's on my that's, list now. That's, that's next topic. <laughs> that's on my list now. That's our next opener for next week. Right. Hey, by the way, should we do this like every week? Get the fuck what? Every two, every two weeks. <laughs> I don't got every time to watch the fucking movies from the 80s every week. Oh, man. dog. My man Andy <laughs> well, Garcia I mean, is in this. What? Yeah. All right. You know what? If I, I think... God, can we... Can we what? I want to do yeah, fucking. Yeah, I want to do a fucking Blade Runner talk. Yo, so you, oh, that Yusaku so Matsuda, Ken Takamura. Oh, Ken Takamura. Oh, that That's man's like a motherfucking that. jam right he's, there, bro. He's the main uh, Japanese actor, right? He's been in a lot of American shit. That's pretty much the only reason why he's anything. Yeah, <laughs> he was in uh, that one movie that I still haven't seen about um, the dreams. Yeah, that movie. Dream no. World. Inception. That one too. Yeah. Was he? Wait, Ken yeah, Watanabe? Man. Yeah. Oh, he was also in Godzilla too, right? Two yeah. completely different guys, guys. Yeah, someone, yeah. I don't these remember are, anyone saying are... Ken Watanabe at all. Oh, I thought that's why I heard No. Oh, Ten, okay, my bad. Taka, Takakura and Ken Taka, Watanabe, whatever. Yeah, two, Damn. Watanabe. Two different like people. Mr. Baseball with Tom Selleck. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good yeah. movie. We should do it, actually. That's what we should talk about. Let's all watch Mr. Yeah. Baseball. That's a hot movie, dude. I don't want to see that. That was one of my favorite movies. (laughs) When I was a kid, I loved that movie. Tom Selleck could do no wrong, man. You go home after that and watch a little Magnum P.I., forget it. Hell yeah. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. (laughs) Damn. Yo. Fucking uh, Allstate guys in it. Oh, uh, that's the the president. Yeah. Dennis Haysbert. Dennis Haysbert. You are a good man. He is a god. I'll stay. It's the best part of 24. How many baseball movies was he in? That's all he did. Was he, was no. he in 23? No, he no. was in he was uh major league. Yeah, he was in major league as well. He was like he was like he was like this. Fuck you, Jobu. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was tight. He, like, he was like the he was like Dominican in that movie. That that was him? That was him, yeah. And he had uh like you know, like a voodoo doll that he like, you know. Put a little shrine and had a shot of tequila and a cigar. What? Oh yeah, he was. <laughs> All right. Major Damn. Major League guys. Well, Major League well, and Mister Baseball. So it seems like within our first podcast, we've totally had no like respect for the Asian race. What are you talking about? We're just fucking crazy. What are you right talking now? about? I have Bro, like every, I have the every, massive every, massive boner for. Whoa. <laughs> For all these Asian men we've been just, talking about, no, 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 just, every just, single one of these Asian stop, men, we've just, right just been like just holding his boner down. He's like, please don't come up. Please. Good thing I'm sitting down. I've been, I've been waiting for this to end. Oh my God. That's horrible, Luis. So, that's like Is some it? General Custard stuff. He's about to make some General Custard what? if you catch my address. You ever seen that General Custard game for the NAS? You just scoop forward, dodge arrows, and bang out a, a fucking native? Yeah. Like, yeah, what? that's all he does. Oh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't know this game. That's that's oh, for man. the best. It, and but those yeah. pe- those people are not Asian though. No, no. but they're. I'm just trying. They're, to... Whatever. This is what you want to do to these Asian men we've been talking about all day. Is what yeah, because you said that you're a boner, dude. This major, this massive. Uh, he, I think he, I think he meant it in a endearing way. I mean, yeah, th- that's still. It is, uh, I mean, usually that's an endearing, isn't it? If you're boning someone. All right. Well, I'm Whoa. not boning anybody. I mean, forthcoming. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. That's, hey. A, Easy. that's a whole what other podcast, Luis. What is happening? You might want to put that up on uh... <laughs> Wait, what are, what are we talking about now? I, I don't know. I, I don't think know. we're trying to end the show. Luis, <laughs> um... you made this shit real sad right now. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not boning anybody, guys. I'll work on myself. <laughs> oh man all right guys i think we had a good first show yeah, it's um, only an hour and change our next movie topic is going to be black rain with uh oh, michael douglas oh, michael fuck. douglas and, and all the random awesome. shit michael douglas so, that was like peak powers michael douglas dude. damn that's when he, that's when Ka- that's what got Catherine zeta jones to jump on his shit oh yeah. what i believe it he was like, like on no. a he was on a string at that point he did like 
Romancing the Stone. Oh, oh that, I love fun. that movie. Oh, that's a classic. Come on. Yeah. Mm. Seriously, that movie's dope. That was good. Danny DeVito what, what was in the, there. The, the, the game? Is that? The no, game. it's not a game. Oh, is that what, what it's called? Was, no, that fa- is a movie. Falling Down, though, is like... Falling Down. Oh, yeah, the game was the, the game was amazing. Falling David Fincher, Down was fucking badass. David man. Fincher. But anyways, Sean Penn. All right. Basic Instinct. That's, Don't forget. Uh, other oh, day. Man. Oh, Basic another Instinct. Day. Seeing that. Coochie. Oh man, I think yeah, we, we should Michael like Michael Douglas pod. Michael Douglas yeah, killed it for pod. three years straight, bro. Podcast next. So yeah, we're definitely gonna open up with Black Rain, Michael Douglas, and go into all the Michael Douglas movies, like his greatest oh, yeah. hits. Um. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this. I I had a good time. Right. What about you guys? It was uh, fun. Yeah, it was good. All right, <laughs> yeah, it was all right. All right, let's end it. <laughs> all right, say your goodbyes. Right. Goodbye, guys. Till next Bye, time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.